How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my SenseCap M4 and the problems that I've been having for probably the past month, maybe two months. It got to the point where I pretty much just gave up and I stopped keeping track of how long it's been. But basically, I'm going to show you guys what's been going on with my node. And it turned out to be an error on Seed's side. Don't know why. It might have been a combination of something that happened with me, but let's just get into it. So, I'm going to start by, I guess, showing you guys the M4. So if you guys are interested in the M4, the link will be in the description, or you can go to my website, Blockchain Bay. You can click, not shop, you can click projects and wait for it to load. And you can click the SenseCap M4. You, can get, you guys can get $20 off your order if you buy it through that link. It looks like there's already a discount, so you're going to be getting it for $249 instead of $269, which is great. And... Overall, I mean, this has been a pretty much plug and play device. The issue uh, that came to mind for me was my port forwarding. For some reason, after months of port forwarding working for me for my Flux node, um, <clears throat> it just decided to stop. I don't know if this is because the router restarted or if there was an update on my uh, network provider side, but for some reason it decided to stop. And nothing I could do could make it work. I looked on Port Checker, and Port Checker said that all of these ports were closed. It wasn't communicating with the outside network. And that brings me to the first error, which was this. Uh, the benchmark is failing. Error on Flux OS response. Flux is not available for outside communication. And Watchdog is in sleep mode. Manual operation needed. I could not get out of this. And I've had this probably for one to three months i want to say i didn't even see when i posted my last flux one month earnings but because of that i haven't earned flux in a very long time uh, the only way i've been able to get flux is by buying it which thankfully right now flux is at a really really good price i think it's ridiculous how low it is oh that's cool it shows me my portfolio now but I ended up just buying more Flux because of how good of a deal this is. I can get a thousand Flux for $480 and get another node running. And this is probably going to be the cheapest, in my opinion, that it's ever going to be. Um, it just seems like a very undervalued coin in comparison to the rest of the market right now. It just hasn't caught up with the trends of the slow uh, increases that we've been seeing. But anyways, I had that error. And then what I had to do was I had to remove all of my port forwarding. And from my understanding, I have UPnP, which is universal plug and play. Basically how that works for anyone that doesn't understand is it will automatically open the ports required that the devices request when they need them. Now, I didn't really understand that at the time. So I went to the Flux Discord server and was asking them about it. And they told me that I can't have one. I can't have both working. I can't have UPnP enabled and the ports open. So I removed all the ports. I restarted the router. Didn't work. Uh, then I added back all of the ports again. And for some reason, when I have UPnP enabled and the ports manually opened, then it works. So I had to add them back again, restart the router, and I was still having errors, but I had some progression because the port checker was now showing that I had a port that was able to be seen. 16126 was able to be seen on uh, the port checker website, which was great. So then it gave me this error, which is invalid speed test server IP. And again, watchdog in sleep mode. Now, if you guys have your own flux node, if you don't have it with SenseCap or Seed, or you don't have it with like a specific manufacturer, you are able to solve this issue on your own because you have access to the console. You can enter commands, etc. I can't do that. So what I had to do was actually reach out to Seed. And here you can see here, I said, I fixed the port issues. I'm still getting this. And they replied that uh, they made some updates. So I don't know what they did. I don't know if it was a BIOS update or if they actually had to push these commands because this right here is a known issue in the Flux community. And they have commands that they ha have made that are meant to fix this issue. I just have to uh, change my server or my speed test server and then it would change. But like I said, I couldn't do that. So... Now I'm at the point where it says my flux node is confirmed. It looks like my camera's in the way, but I still have no flux earned for the month. And I've had this fixed for, uh, I guess, eight days, maybe maybe six days, because I don't think I did it immediately after. And my flux node has been working. It's confirmed. I just took this screenshot today. Um, here we are. But 
it, there's just been so much downtime for me. It just, it kind of sucks. Now, if I were in the situation where I purchased this flux node and I did purchase the flux, but for the sake of the argument, let's say I purchased the flux node and the flux, uh, the flux node, I mean by the sense cap M4, I would have been down uh, close to a thousand dollars by now. And I haven't even made a fraction of it. Now, I have said this in the previous video when I was setting up the flux node, I like this project, I support this project. So to me, making a break even or a return on investment is not something that I'm like striving for. Yes, it would be nice, but I personally support this network. I don't know where my flux watch is, but I have a flux watch, like it's pretty cool. Um, stuff like that is just why I really appreciate this project. And here we are now with uh, 48 cents for one flux. So. <clears throat> Sorry. So I just bought more flux and I'm excited to see what's going on, but it was just really unfortunate for me that it got to the point where I actually had to reach out to support and then I had to wait for them to respond. And it was just a whole bunch of extra steps that I could have probably done on my own. If I had access to all of the back end stuff, I understand seed has their proprietary hardware and all this stuff. So they have their own software and they don't want people to get access to the back end because then you can hack it completely understand that. But it just seems like an extra uh, step that I shouldn't have had to take. It should have just worked. But that's the problem with technology nowadays, right? There's always going to be issues and we have to be on our toes and trying to figure out the solutions. So now that I got my flux node fixed, now I have to move over to my crank gateway, which I'm going to be making videos on this once it finally gets working. I don't know why I did this, but I ended up putting my crank gateway on my iot internet so i had three different types of internets um three different networks one was iot so it was like strictly 2.4 gigahertz and then there was the five gigahertz and i think there was a six gigahertz but we have it disabled and for some unknown reason to me i thought it would be a, a genius idea to put this one specifically uh because it's technically a raspberry pi it's only gonna be pulling from the iot 2.4 gigahertz to put it on that network Boy, oh boy, has that caused a bunch of problems. So now I'm at the point where, look, it says inactive, last seen one day ago, last action one hour ago, uptime NA, LAN IP NA, temp NA, firmware, like it's just not working. And um, like the rewards are, are just not there. So I have to fix this and my flux node is finally working, but it's just, it's just a bunch of problems that I've been having um, and it, it just sucks. But let me know if you guys have had some issues with your flux node as well as well specifically the m4 i know flux nodes in general they can be a little bit tedious to get working um, but let me know what you guys think as well as with your crank devices have you had any issues but thank you guys so much for watching like i said if you're interested in any of these devices if you want to set up a crank hotspot there is going to be uh my name you can just use chris when you buy a license and it gives you guys a discount i believe and then there's also a discount for the flux node. So let me know, guys. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of that stuff. But with that all being said, I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.